What's up, everybody? So getting into this episode of General Hospital, Olivia Falconeri Quartermain, whatever the hell her name is, she is the worst wife ever. No loyalty at all of this heifer. I'm like, dang. Ned Dunn told her about a billion times that he did not turn in Carly and Drew to the SEC. But did she believe him one time? No. She was dogging him out today talking about, oh yeah, she's scared that he's turning into Edward. I'm like, you disloyal heifer. Even if Ned really did turn in Carly and Drew, which we all know it was Nuts that did it, but even if Ned really did do it, Olivia married Ned. She did not marry Carly. She did not marry Drew. She might as well have married Carly because her head is so far up her backside. I'm like, damn, your man then told you, did Olivia not hear that old, that old song? Stand by your man, stand by your man. You disloyal heifer. He need to go tell her to go kick rocks with no socks. No shoes, no socks. Get that heifer. Tell her to go. Drop off Leo every now and again and then hit the road. Uh-uh, just a half, just a, uh-uh. Unacceptable disloyalty. She makes me sick. Now, I can understand Brooklyn because Brooklyn's a spoiled brat. I have a low opinion of Brooklyn to begin with. So, her believing the worst in that doesn't surprise me. So, I'm not going to hold Brooklyn to an accountable standard because she is already the lower uh, lower of the low that just shows brooklyn's true colors but olivia you are a horrible wife that's what you are you really are just disloyal but moving yeah moving on and then actually but one yeah one last thing um, Trace, Tracy was defending Ned, even, even though Tracy also thinks that Ned's guilty. She don't give a damn because she, she called out the facts that Carly and Drew committed a crime of insider trading, especially Carly, because her ass does not know how to back off. They done told her a million times to not get involved in that merger, but she did did she want to listen? No, of course not. So, Carl, in my opinion, Carly is the only one that belongs in jail over this insider trading. Carly is the only one that should be in jail over this. Not Drew, but like I said, Olivia, you disloyal. You don't want for any men that's watching this. Don't pick a woman like Olivia. Don't do it. She ain't not worth it. You will not stand by you at all. Very disappointing. But, but yeah, but like I said, but now moving, but now officially moving on from that. Now I gotta admit this. These three words that I don't say, that I don't admit out loud often. I was wrong. Now for most of y'all that was on, Albridge live stream daily that he does his live streams every day 8 p.m. Eastern So if you haven't joined his his live stream consider doing so because it's a lot of fun, but um But for those for those that don't know I'm gonna say it. so for the last few months I've been making fun of Dex because a few months back he made he wanted to impress Sonny, so he made Sonny a meal, and then a few days later, they flashed to him and Jocelyn, he gonna give her a burnt grilled cheese sandwich. I'm like, hold up, hold up, hold up. I can't stand Jocelyn. I hate Jocelyn's guts. But how you gonna make a whole meal for Sonny, though? But you only gonna, but you gonna give Jocelyn some little burnt grilled cheese? I'm like, what type of what type of shit is it? I'm like, Jocelyn's putting out too too soon then, cause that's crazy. You gonna get 
but he made he made because people in the comment section were defending him talking about oh well most a lot of younger people don't know how to cook but that's bullshit because he made a whole meal for sunny dog a whole meal but today he had that recipe book out he was trying he was trying to let jocelyn know on what he was trying to cook now jocelyn made it clear that her that she don't cook but Dex made it clear he wanted he wanna learn he wanna learn he's learning how to cook. He's trying to he trying to deal with her. He trying to he trying to hook her up with a meal. I'm like, it's about time. I'm like, dang. I'm like, congratulate congratulations, Dex. I gotta give you your props. Even though I don't like you right now because you're a rat. But I gotta I gotta say it. Congratulations. I was wrong. But But yeah, so they ended up at at the Quartermains, and I love Tracy Quartermain because she was rude to Jocelyn and Dax, just like I would have been. And then, of course, you know Olivia, Olivia, and Brooklyn got to be up up their tail end. I mean, up their tail ends, rear ends. You know what I mean? Um, be like, oh no, they are welcome here anytime. Tracy said, since when? And Tr Tr Tracy's like, and then Jocelyn's like, well, don't worry, I'm not staying. And then Tracy said, good, because you're not welcome. <laughs> I love, I love Tracy. And, but they only came to go pick up Wiley and Amelia and they brought her, they brought them to Michael and they were showing, they were showing them, they, they were able to see me, Willow at the end through the ICU, so through her hospital room. So that was, that was cute. Even though I can't stand Michael. Um, speaking of him, him and Willow had a nice little scene. They were preparing her for the strong round of chemo that she got to go through to before the procedure, and that was nice. Good for good for Michael and Willow, and good for all of us if they're finally ready to end this long storyline. Now. Moving, but moving on from that, let's talk about. Yep, the. N Nina actually apologized to Carly, and then she asked her for help. And surprisingly, Carly didn't say how no. She just got interrupted because Drew and Obrick came in, and then when the SEC came and cornered Drew, Obrick was cussing them out, and then Drew Drew um left with them. And Diane came to his rescue, and they so they cut the interview out. And then when Drew came, went back to the quartermains, he done punched Ned in the face. I'm like, and I bet you Olivia won't be mad at Drew, but she's still gonna be mad at Ned even after mm -mm. disloyal. But I don't. I don't give a damn. Even if Ned, if Ned really did turn him, Drew, you better apologize for that. You ain't gonna come around punching me in my face. Now you gonna if you don't go to jail for insider trading, you're gonna go to jail for assault. So don't forget, Drew's a Navy SEAL. I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to fight Drew, not fairly. So shoot, Ned better press charges for that. Be like that bastard hit me. Shit, who do he think he is? You better respect your keep keep your hands to yourself. Do what did his did his foster mom or whoever not teach him no manners? But um and then Holly Diane yeah, Holly and Robert were having scenes together today as well. It was it was nice Holly saying that she wanted she'd been thinking about kissing Robert again for so long and they ended up kissing. I'm like, okay, okay, but then when my Diane came in there I didn't, I don't like I don't like Robert playing playing with Diane's emotions like that. Don't be doing that because before Holly came up in there, he was he was sitting there chatting up with Diane. So uh uh Robert, you gonna you too old to be playing these games. You need to you need to let you need to choose one of one or the other. I I get that both Holly and Diane look good. You might as well. I would pick Diane, but. You got to make a choice because you're not going to be playing with my Diane's emotions like that. The legal ego right here. We're not, we're not about to do that, okay, Robert? So get it together. 
and and yeah, he just need to get that together. But I believe that was mostly everything in this episode. If I missed anything, please let me know in the comment section below. Hope you enjoyed. Hit the like, subscribe button, and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and I will see you all later. Peace.